learn about different jobs. I hope to get Keisha's mom. She's a lawyer. Where were you on the evening of April 17th, Miss Santos? Pretty good, huh? Or ask your dad. He's a dancer. Maybe I can be in a Broadway musical. So, what do you want, Maya? Gosh, I haven't thought about it. Well, I'm gonna be a dancer this week. I can feel it in my bones! <laughs> telephone repairman? I have to spend the whole week with a telephone repairman? Cool. That sounds like fun. You'll probably get to take all kinds of neat things apart and rewire them. Oh, no. It'll never work for me. Why not? Two simple words. Jumpsuit. I think that's one word. <sighs> Deal. What's your job? Bus driver. Man, I was hoping for something more like brain surgeon or nuclear scientist. And hey, what did you get? Well, it looks super boring. Spill it, Santos. I'm hanging out with an engineer. Engineer? Someone in this school has a dad who's an engineer? And you get to spend a week with him? That's not fair. Chill, Theo. At least you're not Maya. She got insurance salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know what an insurance salesman does all day? Um, no. But you don't either. Yes, I do. He, um, well, okay, but I bet it's gonna be great. Hello? 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 At 131? 130? 129? Where's 112? Here it is. <laughs> salesman of the month, salesman of the year, salesman of the decade. Wow, this guy can sell. Si, sí, excelente vendedor. Are you here to fix the computer? Uh -oh. Don't worry. That thing's 20 years old. Anyway, the computer's been giving me error messages. Boy, you techies are getting younger every day. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a techie. I mean, I'm here for career week to learn all about your job. Crack su trabajo. Oh, yeah. You're in my grandson Ralphie's class. Here it up, Ralphie. Here it up, Ralphie. Uh, uh, not that we call him that. I'm Maya. Yo soy Paco. Oh, and this is Paco. I hope it's okay that I brought him. Sure. Morton Palmer, senior sales representative. We can't wait to learn about your exciting job, Mr. Palmer. Su trabajo. Su trabajo. You're excited about selling insurance? Well, sure. Do you even know what it is? Uh... No clue. Shh, Paco. <clears throat> Insurance protects you if something important gets lost or broken. That way you can replace it or fix it. Cool. All right, well, let's get started. Ah, es vendedor. Vamos a vender. He's a very smart bird. So, um, is this what you do all day? Sorry. How rude of me. Do you want to turn? Mr. Meyer, sir, I just want you to know that I'm not exactly the fix-it-up type. See, I'm going to be a Broadway dancer. All right there, pal. Put this on and hold on tight. But my hair! <laughs> Isn't it a thrill? No one ever forgets their first time up. Hey, I can see my house from up here. If Maya could see me now. Oops, there goes that error message again. Guess that's all the tic-tac-toe for today. Are we going to sell some insurance now? Not quite yet. Let me show you what we need to do next. This is an important part of my job. A perfect hot chocolate. I love these tiny marshmallows. I'm sorry, don't you like cocoa? You want some milk instead? There are cookies in the vending machine. Ah, bird seed, bird seed. That's okay. I'd rather see what your job is like. 
¡Su trabajo! You were salesman of the year, salesman of the decade. Vendedor. That was a long time ago. Hey, you want to check out the supply room? They got a lot of cool highlighters. Ralphie loves the orange ones. They match his hair. <laughs> I'm looking for Dr. Joe Rodriguez. Well, I'm Dr. Joe Rodriguez. Yeah. Uh. Ah, you thought I was going to be a man, didn't you? No. No, I mean. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I get that a lot. You must be Miguel from Mrs. Langley's class. I'm Beto's mom. What kind of engineer are you? Aerospace engineer. Aerospace engineer? Like, outer space? Like an astronaut? <laughs> si, un astronauta. Just call me Payload Specialist Rodriguez. I'm scheduled to go up soon. Un astronauta. Leo's gonna be so jealous. Okay, Theo, my man. Ready for bus driving 101 with Bobby D? Well, um... Yeah, you probably wanted to be an astronaut or something. That's cool, every kid does, but you've never ridden a bus with Bobby D. So feel my man, watch and learn. Okay, so remember, don't break too hard, keep an eye on your left mirror, and most importantly, don't forget that every rider matters. Hey, Mr. King, nice to see ya. Mrs. Yates, you got your hair cut. It looks great. How are the kids, Mr. DiGiorgio? Good, good. You know all their names? Oh, yeah, we get a lot of regulars on the old 17. Okay, folks, grab your hats, grab your coffee, because we are rolling! So, you take a pink eraser like this and some push pins and then draw a little face. It's a pig! Paco board. Paco! That's really neat, Mr. Palmer. Ralphie loves it. Hey, Paco, get that back! Don't worry, I'm yeah. gonna it, Paco. Give it to me right now. Yeah. Paco, Paco, come here! Excuse me, Mr. Palmer. Paco! Paco, come here! Paco! Paco, come here! Bring down the beach yeah. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> Paco and I will have this cleaned up in a jiffy. And Dr. Rodriguez promised to send me an email from space. Isn't that awesome? There's nothing more awesome than a huge bus with over 100 people on board and my man Bobby D at the wheel. That's nothing. Someone should write a Broadway musical about working for the phone company because it is so much fun. In fact, maybe I should write it. Then I could star in it, too. Well, it can be as fun as being a lawyer. I went out on a real power lunch today. <sighs> What's the matter, Amenita? It's Mr. Palmer, mi vendedor de seguros. Is it boring? I don't even know if it's boring. He won't even try to sell insurance. He seems kind of down in the dumps. I feel bad for him. Oh, too bad he can't go up in the phone company, Crane. It makes you feel like you're on top of the world. Or maybe he should go even higher, like to outer space. Thanks, guys, but I don't think I can send Mr. Palmer to space. <gasps> Unless... Unless! Stop right there. Put the brain gently in reverse and back it up slowly. I need to find Mr. Palmer a new job. And I need your... Mr. Palmer, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Let me get some hot chocolate first. Ah, birdseed, birdseed! I don't mean to be rude or anything, but, you know, you don't seem happy with your job. It's just, well, I've been an insurance salesman for a long time. And, well, sometimes I think I've lost my touch. And that's why I think maybe it's time for a change. Don't listen. Don't listen. What have you got in mind? 
Oh, nothing big. Spend time with some of my friends, look for a new job. A new job? I don't want a new job, Maya. Selling insurance is all I've ever done. Well, what if you just try it? It's got to be better than sitting around making farm animals out of office supplies. Well, if you put it that way, I guess it couldn't hurt, right? Next stop, coming up! Open! Yo, Maya, welcome to the fabulous number 17 Crosstown. You are really getting the hang of it, Theo. Can I drive the bus now? Uh, no. Bobby, this is my friend Maya. And Morton Palmer, this is Bobby D. Oh, you can't forget Paco. Can't forget Paco. Can't forget Paco. So, Morty, my man, you want to be a bus driver, huh? Honestly, I, I never really thought about it. Driving a bus takes a lot of skill. I mean, you can't brake too hard. You gotta keep your eye on the left mirror. And most important, every rider matters. Okay, Mort, next stop is all you. on the lever. Like this. Hey, Bobby D. Hi, Theo. Hey, Bobby D. Hey, Theo. Now can I go? Oh. Wait, let's go. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Great, I really messed that up. Oh, uh, don't feel bad, Mort, my man. That lever is really old. It breaks down a lot. Hmm. What's this all about? This is my friend Maggie and Mr. Myers, the telephone repairman. I need you to step up into the basket, sir. What for? You'll see. Here you go. Hold on to your hat. How's the view? What, what, what do you see? What, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't really like heights. Uh, get me down, please. Get me down. I don't like squirrels. It's stuck. Something's broken. <laughs> no, please. Machine acts up a little bit, but don't sweat, buddy. We'll have you down in a jet. For the birds! For the birds! You know, I don't think I'm cut out to be an astronaut. Maybe I'm too old. Don't be silly. Senator John Glenn went into space when he was 77. You're a lot younger than that, Mr. Palmer. And you actually need all kinds of jobs besides astronauts to get someone into space. Right, Dr. Rodriguez? Absolutely. Now, come on, Mort. Climb into the simulator. All right. I, I, I guess it might be fun, huh? Go for it. I'm going to start this out very slowly. Oh. I'm really sorry about 
the space simulator? It's okay. I owe you some thanks, Maya. <gasps> you want to be an astronaut after all? No, Maya. I've realized it's time to hang it all up. Huh? You mean hang up all your salesman awards? <laughs> it's a figure of speech. It means throw in the towel, pack it up, call it a day. Maya, I'm going to retire. <gasps> right after this career week is over. Face it, I'm not really good at anything anymore. Does Mr. Palmer want to be an astronaut? No way, Santos. He wants to be a bus driver. Right, Maya? Oh, please. I bet he's applying for a job with a phone company right this second. Sorry, guys. He doesn't want to do any of those things. He's decided there's nothing he can do. He wants to retire. He's got to be good at something. I mean, Chrissy's right. Everyone has something they're good at. They can even take tests to see what type of job they're good at. Theo! How to cook Indian food. How to make your baby sleep. Oh, how to scratch that itchy spot between your shoulder blades. Hey, here we go. How to find a career. Oh, el señor Palmer busca una carrera. You, you really think this will help, Maya? Ah, uh, no chance. Don't listen to Paco. I bet there are lots of careers we haven't even thought of. Ah, uh, muchas carreras. Oh, look. Here's a whole shelf of books on finding a career. <laughs> Oh, oh, you want one more? Oh, oh, can you grab that? I think we need a book on how to find a self-help book. Okay, so we're going to do a few tests, and when it's all done, we should know the perfect career for you. And then we're heading right to the kitchen for my perfect cup of cocoa? What does this look like to you? Steam coming out of a cup of hot cocoa. Are you sure? Okay, what is the man in the picture thinking? That he could use a cup of hot cocoa. Interesting. Now, I'll say a word and you tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Morning. Hot chocolate. Afternoon. Hot chocolate. Evening. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Marshmallow. What is three-fourths plus three-fourths plus one-half? That's on the career quiz? No, it's my math homework, but I figured I'd get some help while we're here. <laughs> Two. Thanks. Okay, last question. If you could be any animal, what would it be? Hmm. Does hot chocolate count? What, Maya? A salesman. See, that's why this isn't working, Maya. What do you mean? Maya, you have everything it takes to be a great saleswoman. You have energy, you like people, you know what you're selling, and you never say quit. But you have to realize you can't sell the customer something he doesn't want. You mean like a new career? Like a new career. See, take that bus driver we met yesterday. Remember that broken door? I would have sold him a policy that would cover all the wear and tear that comes from driving all those people and making all those stops. Mr. Palmer! <gasps> SOS! Huh? What does that mean? That's it! I know just what we have to do! See, we can offer you a flexible policy that covers wear and tear as well as the big stuff. That way, if your door lever needs fixing, Mr. Palmer's company will take care of it. No kidding, really? Mort, this is my supervisor's number. She handles all this stuff for the entire city transportation department. This way, you're protected if your equipment ever breaks. Ha! If I know my boss, he would love to take you to lunch and hear what you have to say. going to call Colonel Walton Dale right now and tell him you can sell him a policy for <gasps> all of our training equipment. Hmm. I 
I haven't sold that many policies in one day since I was salesman of the year. So, do you still want to hang it up? <sighs> Not a chance. I have a lot of selling left to do. Well, here we are. Hi, Mr. Hey, Hi, there, Mr. Mr. Potter. Hey, Mr. Hey, 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 Hi, kids. <laughs> Thanks for all the help. How about a round of hot chocolate? <laughs> I wonder if you can take this into outer space. Hey, how did you do that to your helmet, Maggie? Mmm, hot chocolate. How about that hot chocolate, huh? Isn't that good? So, going into space and driving the city bus and working on phone lines and all that stuff, well, it does sound like fun. I really think I got the best job of all. Mmm, great chocolate.